Thanks. Every Monday here on the news, we help you answer the question, what's for dinner? Chef Suzanne Rockwell is here with Anne Marie Tiernan, and they're whipping up some tasty pasta sauce. For our 13 minute meal today, we're capitalizing on the fact that pasta is popular, but sometimes the sauce can get rather routine. So Chef Suzanne is here today with a, a sauce that she says you can put on just about any pasta with just a few simple ingredients. You want to take it away? Sure. What we're going to do is um, a, ver a quick version of a basil pesto. So rather than have you drag out your blender, put your olive oil, your pine nuts, and your basil, blend those up first. We're just showing you how to use the, that same flavor and go directly to your pan. So what we would do is put a little olive oil in your pan, a little bit of onions, my favorite are garlic, and you're going to saute those until they become translucent. Give those a good saute. And then we're doing something a little bit different. Um, for you with your basil pesto, instead of using a pine nut, which a lot of our clients have nut allergies, we're using a uh, pumpkin seed. So once these get um, sauteed, then we're going to add sun-dried tomatoes. If you didn't happen to have sun-dried tomatoes in your house, you could use um, a regular tomato, you could use a canned tomato. We're going to saute this for about two minutes. And then you're going to add your um, fresh basil. And that's pretty key. You want to use fresh in this. And you're going to add a little bit more olive oil. Give that a stir. And the smell is just awesome. And then we're going to throw in some pumpkin seeds. You can find them anywhere. They're really popular right now. And those are going to toast a little bit. And they're going to bring out the oil and give you the flavor. And then meanwhile, your pasta is cooking, and then you would just throw your pasta in, add your Parmesan, a little bit more olive oil, and give it a toss. Anyway. It really does smell great. I want to show you, uh, we, we did take a vote online about the uh, sign, don't mess with the cook's buns. Everyone on social media overwhelmingly said we needed to keep the keep sign, so, so we little. did that. It, this smells just great. We have this pasta recipe posted for you online at WTHR.com. Here is what the final product looks like. She used a tricolor bow tie pasta and then put the sauce in there, and it looks very colorful. But you can use really any pasta that you like. We've got cavatappi here. You could put it on rigatoni, even with angel hair pasta. And then, you know, don't look at this as something that's just so fixed. If you want to add chicken or you want to add shrimp or you want to maybe add some other vegetables or something like that, you can work with this to kind of include some of your favorite ingredients and you can still get it ready for dinner in 13 minutes. Sounds good to me. Hope you enjoy it. Back to you. Good and looks good.